Hello guys, here's Marcin and welcome back after short break. Lately I was pretty busy so that's the reason why I wasn't uploading any tutorials for about 3 weeks I think, but now I am back and soon you can accept more tutorials on my channel, I hope. And also I wanna say welcome to any new subscriber on my channel, I hope you enjoy. And today I'm gonna show you this underwater manipulation scene. It looks nice and very interesting, so hope you like it. And let's start. For this manipulation I use few images and all images and other stuff I link in the description if you are interested in. At first I need to prepare my background. I use this room. So we need to make color correction at first. Go to hue saturation and set saturation about minus 60, minus 65, maybe a little more. Also create new layer and go to solid color and fill this with this soft blue cyan color with uh, some gray and change blending mode for the layer to soft light as you see it looks much better right now also you can add some gradient map or you can also use color balance curves to prepare your background I go to gradient map to change blend mode to soft light and select this gradient map uh, this type of gradient is in photographic tuning in Photoshop CS6 if you are interested in and of course you can create your own gradient if you want take a look it looks nice for me with soft light I think we can add also color balance in mid-tones I add cyan at minus 100 and some blue maybe at 30 shadows also some cyan about minus 50 and blue about 20 and maybe some green about 20 but it's not necessary and maybe in highlights cyan at minus 30 and blue at 30 maybe it's a little too strong so you can change opacity if you want to 60 maybe too much in highlights I change it to minus 20 and 20 looks better okay and now we should add some water reflection to our image you can find a lot of uh, water images if you are interested in. For example, on DeviantArt you can find a lot of water images. Of course, as I said, I uh, link this image in the description. Okay, now using Move tool drag this water to our main project it's too small as you see so I use selection tool click right and then free transform to adjust this to my project okay change blend mode to soft light or to overlay if you want if you want a little stronger effect then using eraser tool remove uh, the unnecessary parts uh, from the walls okay. 
I'm not sure if it's not too strong. Take a look. I duplicate this layer to soft light and add some here. Okay, I think our background looks uh, quite okay. Maybe it's not perfect. Maybe the floor is too strong. I can change opacity to 80%, for example. And now I think it's time for our model. I find this also on DeviantArt and I link it in the description. It's by MJ Random Stock. Uh, to cut this model, you can use few methods. I use Pen Tool, for example, but you can use Quick Selection Tool, whatever you want. It takes me a few minutes, so I skip this part. Now when you make selection, click right and then make selection, feather radius at 3 pixels. Then click selection to click right and layer via cut to cut this part. Take a look, we have a few other parts to delete. Here, click right, layer via cut. And here, same. Okay, and maybe some correction on the hair. Okay. It can be a little too large, so I change the image size a little. And then using move tool, drag this to our main project, as I said. For example, like this. And now we need to adjust uh, this model layer to our background, so you can use uh, layer mask, but I just prefer press control and click on this layer on iMac press command. Go to color balance and, and cyan minus 100, blue at 30, in shadows cyan minus 50, green at 20 and highlights minus 20 to add some cyan and 20 to add some color blue and it's okay it's all change blend mode to 70 maybe to 80 or something like this Also, if it's too strong, you can desaturate a little this image to make it more natural. You can add also some Dutch and Burn tool, so create new layer, edit fill, fill it with 50% gray, change blend mode to overlay. And now using Dutch tool at first in range mid tones, 
add some light but it's uh, not necessary on this image I think And also burn to to burn some parts to paint with the black. And now it's time to add some bubbles. Create new layer above your model. I'm not so good in that. I'm not so good in that. Sorry for so much chaos with the bubbles, but it was just an improvisation. Uh, I hope you understand this. And at the end, you can add some light effect. I find this image, drag it to our project, and change blend mode to screen. If it's too strong, for me it's a little too strong, you can change opacity, for example, to 60 or 70%. And okay, I think we get this. Uh, if you want, at the end, you can add some curves for example to add some contrast and color correction but of course it's not necessary as always and okay it's all it's my final result uh, maybe I should use other images for this I think you get the main idea to create your own projects. So hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Hope you like it. Hope you learn something from this. So thank you for watching and I hope you see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.